My name is Kain Tender Genius, and the name of this course I'm going to be taking right now will be a full course on SQL Server Management Studio. This course will be for people who are beginners and who are also smart because I'm going to be really fast. It is also for developers or programmers who don't have knowledge of SQL Server, and it's also for those who are SQL Server de uh, pro uh, developers but might have forgotten about SQL Server because they are moving on with new technologies. So SQL Server has been there over the years and it's going to remain there. So it's going to be July to September, actually August and September, but I'm starting at the end of July. Every week there will be two classes or two lessons. So feel free to follow. I'm not going to be wasting time with theories. It's going to be fully practical course. My channel or these videos will not be monetized. That is, they are not going to be having adverts. So you are not going to be seeing videos interrupting you when you are following this lesson. So Feel free to subscribe to my channel because I'm kind on the genius and I'm there to help you. And I also want to see, uh, want to interact with you to help you solve any challenges you may have in programming, in software development, in, in any database administration. In your workplace, I would like to be there to help you. So this is going to be just two months. I want to create a thousand, a thousand developers, uh, SQL Server developers or database administrators at this time. So let's get started. Uh, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. And that is why I have this animation so that I want to know who you are and I also want to interact with you. So please subscribe so that you motivate me to continue making these lessons. We are going to go through this in about 10 minutes. So these courses will be about 10 minutes per section. So we're okay, getting a free SQL Server. SQL Server Management Studio, we create a database, we view database objects, we create a table, we create a view and we create a stall procedure. So this will be too difficult or too much to do in a few uh, minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Let's see how it goes. So I'm going to end this presentation and I'm going to go out to open Google and let's see. So I'm going to go to Google. Now I'm not going to take you through how to install SQL Server because I already done it, but let me just show you. You can easily get uh, SQL Server download. SQL Server Downloads. So if you come here, you uh, go to SQL Server Downloads. So at this point, it takes you to a download page where you can see different versions. Now you have Download Free Trial and you have Start Free. Don't download any of this tool. So just scroll down a bit and you can see uh, Developer and you can see Express. Now the Developer Edition is OK. Uh, it's for development of test database, non-production environment. But it's better to use the Express Edition. So this Express Edition, you can actually use it as a beginner to build any kind of application you want as a beginner. So click on Download. When it downloads, just run the, uh, the installation uh, file, and it's going to install. So if you do this, pause the video, do this, and then come back. So for me, I've installed it. So I'm going to simply go ahead to open it. Again, I forgot, after installing it, Scroll down a bit and download uh, this SQL Server Management Studio. So this is like a, a GUI that helps you manage your databases. So also download and install it. So we are actually going to be using SQL Server Management Studio most of the time. So I'm going to just open it. I'm going to say SQL Server Management Studio 17. So I'm going to open it. So here we are going to start by creating a new database and it's really very easy. So I don't know why everybody is not a DBA. So it opens up, uh, takes a few seconds. All right, so it's opening up in my second monitor. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to move it across to this place, okay. So this is how it opens up. I've created a few databases and now I'm going to quickly create more databases. So in databases here, you can see, just right click and say new database. So say new database and it gives you this dialog box. So what you are going to do at this time, just give the name of the database you want. So let's call it beginner DB. Beginner DB. Even if you are not a beginner, give it any name. Maybe beginner DB is okay. For now, we are going to leave the owner as the default. So, because later I'm going to be talking about um, database roles and security. So, just click on OK and it's going to create this database for you just like that. So, we call it beginner DB and if you expand databases, you can see beginner DB. 
What you can do to create a table at this point, just expand this and just go to tables and let's just say new table. So this is this easy, more like an Excel table that you normally work with. But in SQL Server, the first thing you need to do is to define your columns, more like the column headers, right? So I'm going to show you how to import an Excel sheet into SQL Server, but for now, let's just create a table that stores a list of students that have ID, let's just call it students ID. Uh, first, actually, I'm going to call it students ID, and I'm going to call it first name, last name, department. All right. So if you look at this place, we've created a table that have how many columns? Four columns, right? So now we need to specify the data types of this column. Now, let's say the student's ID is going to be integer. So what you are going to do is to drop down on this one and choose integer. So scroll down and just to, uh, look for integer. So you have big int, no. So scroll down and you can see int. So it's called int, right? The first name we want it to be a vaca. That is variable length character. So we are going to be looking at other ones at a different other data types at a different time. For now, leave it at vaca. So sorry, va vacha. So I'm calling it vacha, but I call it vaca. Alright, so we've created it. Now we also want to tell SQL Server that the student ID is a primary key. So if I go here, I can simply right click on it and just say set primary key, right? So set primary key and I can just save. When you click on save, at that point, it prompts you to enter the name of the table. So let's call it TBL students. Now there's something called prefix. Prefix is the three letter, the three letter prefix to name your object. This is a table, so the prefix is TBL. We are creating a form. The prefix is FRM. When we are, we are creating a stock procedure, this prefix is PRO and so on and so forth. So there are other, other prefixes, for instance, the views, the triggers that you need to learn about later. So we've created a table. How do we put in data into this table? There are two ways or even more. You can import this data from Excel. You can also enter this data manually. You can write a script, uh, a query to enter this data into this table. So first, let's do it manually. To enter data into it, what you can do is to just expand the tables. You can see your table there, TBL students, just right click, and just go to edit top 200 rows. At the edit point, you can now enter the values. So for instance, one, and the first name, of course, you can enter your own name if you want. So computer science. All right, so if you press enter, it's it saves it, and now we have one record in this table. Okay. So again, uh, we are now going to look at how to write a query to insert data into this table. Now, if you look at under the databases, there are a whole lot of things. We have database diagram, table, view, external resources, synonyms, programmability, and so on. So now I'm going to show you how to write a query to insert this data, data into the database. But before I do that, I'd like to tell you that a stored procedure is also a query. So what we are going to be doing now, I'm going to just right click on the table and say new query, right? So when I say new query, it opens the query window and if I write a, a, an insert statement, insert into, uh, into TBL students, TBL students values, and now value of two. So I'm just entering random data. I think it's going to be single quotes. whatever it is. So department is economics. All right, so now I've written this query and I'm ready to execute it. So to execute it, simply highlight it and just click on execute. So you can see one row affected. Now, if I save this query I've written, it becomes a stored procedure. That is how easy it is to understand the stored procedure. 
But if I now self open the table again, so if I go to table and I go to select, you can see that we have two rows. We have two rows right there. So this is a head start for you. Uh, the nice time, the nice lesson, because I have 10 minutes intervals for these courses, I'm going to be doing stop procedures. We're actually going to be taking this query we wrote and actually save it, and it becomes a stop procedure. We are going to also be talking about views, and we are going to be talking about auto increment columns. So want the ID, the ID to be auto increment, and we are going to be talking about a whole lot of other things and now I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. We are going to see you in the next class. Remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you have any opinion, any uh, challenges, let me know. Or some recommendations you have for me, let me know in the comment box below.